What's up fathers, it's your brother CJ. Welcome to the Divorce and Custody channel for men. Today, let's talk about three reasons to get a divorce. Now, getting a divorce is a really hard decision to come to, but it's one that we must be able to come to when we see these three things happening because likely these things are not gonna change. So with that, let's get started. So the first reason is if there is infidelity in your marriage, then this is a sign that you should probably now get a divorce. Here's the reason. You see, having worked with so many men, I've understood that men can step out of their marriage, have something outside of a relationship with somebody, and still be able to maintain that household because men don't get emotionally involved with somebody that they get sexually involved with. I'm not saying that that's right, but that's the nature of men. Women, on the other hand, if they get sexually involved with someone, there is a buildup to that. It means they've become emotionally invested. And when someone is emotionally invested in a relationship outside of their marriage as a wife, it doesn't matter whether that person tells you that that's what they did. When that happens, it means that your relationship is officially over. A lot of people will try to get counseling and try to work those things out, but essentially, because she has disrespected you to the point of stepping out and, and sleeping with another man or some cases, several other men, it really means that that relationship is over. And that's probably the first sign. The second reason and probably one of the most important for men is disrespect. When you are in a relationship with someone who is consistently disrespecting you, whether in private or in public, especially in public or in front of your children, in front of your family, when that happens, it means that the relationship is all but over. You see, women want love. Men equate love to respect. So when you're not getting the respect that is expected to be received from a spouse, essentially, it's just a matter of time before that spouse will step out on you and then that relationship is over. When you recognize consistent signs of disrespect, and you address that situation and nothing changes, it's probably time for you to get a divorce. Now here's the third thing, and I think probably the most important. Every man is on earth to accomplish a purpose. You were created to accomplish something in the earth. And what happens is sometimes you will pair yourself with someone who is not interested in pushing you to helping you to becoming who you're supposed to be. In other words, they become a Samson and Delilah in your life. They become the opposite of what a supportive woman would be or should be in order to spur you on to become the kind of person that you must become. That person begins to divert funds into doing things that are supposedly fun, but they don't push towards your purpose. They begin to oppose everything that you do so that you, you know, whatever you do seems like it's a useless attempt. They begin to put you down. They begin to shoot down your shot. Everything that you're trying to do, they, they start to discourage it. Whatever you do in your household to encourage your family to grow, to become something more, they discourage that. When you see that happening, that's not gonna change. And unfortunately what it does is because that person is the closest one to you, the people in close proximity to you will account to your success or your failure. So if you see that the person that is closest to you, in this case your wife, is not adding value to you, is not encouraging to you, she's not respectful to you, and if she starts to step out on the relationship, now you know you have everything you need to file for divorce. So now, with all those things I just said, a lot of people will wonder, well, they've been through three of those things and have never filed for divorce. Well, why is that? Here's what happens. A lot of guys, they have like a scarcity mindset. They think that this is the only wife, the only woman that will love them. This is the only person they will get. And so they choose to settle with that person. But this channel, what we do, we want to help you to establish that you are a man of value and that you are valuable in this world and that you are here for a purpose and that your purpose is greater than being in any relationship, any marriage. Because if you lived your life and never achieved your purpose, then you wouldn't have achieved what you were sent on earth to do. You would be a generational thief, a generational robber, okay? And that's the reason why I say you can let a person go and you can, get, you can start over again. And guess what? You can accomplish the one thing that you're meant to be and that is your purpose on earth. 
and you will find a much better woman than the one that you had because there is you've got to have that abundance mindset and know that there is more out there than what you already have okay all right fellas i hope that that helped um, i have the ebook the 10 things that your lawyer won't tell you about divorce and custody i think it'll be an interesting read it has much much more information or based on the things that we have just talked about and what we talk about generally on this channel. You can get that at this link. If you also want coaching for your personal situation, your custody and divorce situation, there is a link right here and you can uh, email me and we can help you with that right away. Now, in the meantime and in between time, please hit that like and subscribe and share this video if it has helped you in any way. And also, don't forget to smash that notification bell for any new videos. And in the meantime, it's CYA, cover your assets.